Hi and welcome. Uh, this is Alberto Planas from SUSE and we are going to present the different changes that we did into SALT in order to support transactional systems. In this case, OpenSUSE and MicroS. But first, let me introduce what is MicroS and what is a transactional operating system. This is a very ad hoc definition, but a transactional OS can be described as a system where a change, for example an update, do not affect the running system. O once the change is uh, done and is considered successful, there is an atomic action that will activate those changes. For example, if we are updating a package, we are not going to be able to see the new package until we reboot. That is going to be the atomic action that will stop the running system and transition into the new one. The new package is living in a different place inside the system. Can be a different partition or a different battery first snapshot that is not accessible by the running system. And is the reboot action the one that switch the context? MicroS is basically a version of OpenSUSE where the full operating system is installed in a read-only file system. A slash USR or a slash lib, for example, cannot be changed by the user. The areas that we need to change during normal operations, like a slash etc or a slash server, are living in a butterfly subvolume where we can read and write. Internally, a transaction is represented a, as a battle first snapshot that we take from the root file system. Transactional update is the command line tool that we need to use in order to make changes in the system, like for example, installing a new package or updating the full operating system. This tool will create new snapshots and install in there the new package or making the changes that are required without affecting the running system. Also can be used to roll back the current snapshot and recover an old one. In MicroS, reboot is the action that will activate the new snapshot. To understand the mismatch between MicroS and SALT, let's consider this example. The user want to check if Apache is installed. If not, install it want to check if some behost is currently configured in the configuration file. If not, configure it. Make sure that Apache service is, is enabled. And if the configuration file have changed, restart the Apache service. But in a transactional system, we are going to find some problems. A direct call to package install Apache will fail because the root file system is in read-only mode. If we call transactional update via the command run module, this will succeed. It will create a, a new snapshot and install Apache in there. But if we execute the, the same command again as it is, transactional update will create a new snapshot based on the active one that do not have Apache and will install ag Apache again in the new snapshot. We will have two inactive snapshots with the same version of Apache. A service star will fail because the service file is living in a different snapshot that is not currently visible from the active one. And the same will happen with the file manage. The conf configuration file is not reachable from the current snapshot until we reboot. To start the integration with SALT, we made some changes in transactional update command line tool. We added a continuous parameter to create new snapshots based on the last one. That can be the active one or the one that is uh, still pending. We added a drop if not change parameter that will drop a transaction if there is no change in the rule file system. And we we'll merge back slash etc to the current overlay is the transaction gets dropped. We also added the run command to execute any command inside a new transaction. Together with both previous parameters, we can execute, for example, the solve thing inside a new transaction based on the last one. That will be dropped if there is no side effect, if there is no change in the system. 
the change from for salt have been layered from low level to higher levels of abstraction. We basically started creating representation in salt via execution modules of the different tools that the user will need. One is the Reboot Manager systemd service that is used to defining maintenance window, so where it's okay to schedule a reboot. The other one is the transactional update command line tool, where we exported all the possible features that is providing, like for example installing package or updating the file system, the, the operating system. The most important one is the run command, and is, a, is used for executed random OS application. This will be used as a basic building block for the upper levels of abstractions. On top of that, we added the classical call functions to execute a uh, sol modules. This is the one uh, taking care of creating the sol thing and executed it inside uh, a new transaction via the run command. Uh, we also added the all the usual API to execute sol state and SLS, SLS files like apply, single, SLS and high state. Finally, we added ways of detecting transactional system and we added an executor to make transparent the delegation of some actions into this new transactional update module. With this approach, the user has always low level access to the transactional update API and can decide when to execute something inside a transaction or outside it. At the same time, uh, we can use the new executor to delegate into the new modules some of the action that can, can have side effects into the system. Now let me do some, some demo. So we are here in a transactional uh, uh, system. This is a up-to-date microOS installation and we are using the last version of uh, uh, SALT currently from Git with the different patches that uh, we are talking about. So the first thing that we need to do is like checking if we are living in a transactional system. So transactional date dot transactional is going to check if we are living in a transactional system. In this, in this case we are living in one. We also have uh, available a grain that is going to return the same value can be used to uh, to uh, to insult, delegate some calls only or direct some call only to the transactional system that we, we have in our network. As we commented, every uh, transaction is represented at a, at, as a snapshot. So we currently have three different snapshots and the last one, the number three, is the active one. We can query into the system if we have a pending transaction. In this case, we don't have any one. Three is the last transaction, but it's also the active one. Now we can try to install a, an application, a package. We can do package install and it's going to fail. As commented, we are living in a root and in a React only file system and Zipper is going to fail. We can call transactional update.run to make uh, the direct call to zipper inside the transaction and this is going to succeed. So we see that we install uh, two package correctly. Now if we do a, a snapper uh, ls we are going to see that there is a pending transaction. We can uh, uh, make sure calling again pending transaction and now we are going to have a true. So we need to reboot the system in order to access to the new application. But, as commented, LNAV, the application, is still not accessible. It's living in a different transaction that we don't have access from here. So, technically, we need to call something like that, update, uh, transactional update, reboot, to a schedule a reboot. But for now, we are going to, to wait. So let's let's for now drop the last transaction. So again we have 
we dropped the transaction though, so L LNAV was never installed and we are still e the last uh, transaction is still the, the last one, the number 3 so we installed a package using transactional update run and calling Fipper inside the transaction but we can do better we can call uh, transactional update dot package install snapshot continue to install the, the package this is a bit higher level from calling Fipper from ourselves again we have a, 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 a new snapshot and L, L, L da, L nav is uh, L nav is living in the new snapshot. We need to reboot in order to access to the to the application. Let's drop again the the snapshot. We can go a higher level up to make installation to make changes in the system. Now we are using transactional update dot call to call directly the package installed execution module from salt. What this doing here is uh, creating the solve thing and using run to execute the solve thing inside the transaction. The solve thing is going to call a package install inside the transaction and is going to make the change in the new snapshot. So we can see how we are going from very low level specification to very high level of, uh, of abstraction here. But this is not all. We can call package install state. This is a salt state using the uh, transactional date dot single call in order to make sure that the salt state is created that internally again is called via so it's going to be executed via the run command and and is going to be executed inside the transaction. This is a slower because it's doing more action but the net effect, the net result is going to be the same. The state is executed and the package is living there. So far we have again four snapshots. We are living in the snapshot number three and we have one pending that is number four. We every time that we install a package we drop it the snapshot. So that means that the package is not installed in any case. So let's try something now. We have the package installed in the new uh, snapshot that is not the active one. If we try to install again the package, is going to make any change or not? we can see that nothing changed no new package was installed and we still have four snapshots three is the active one and four is the pending one for now let's drop again the package and we can use the executor to call package installed take note that we are not calling transactional update dot call directly we are delegating into the transactional update executor module to root package install inside transactional update something very nice about that is that this executor module can be living in a configuration file that is going to be transpa transparently activated for this kind of systems and again we can see that the package is going to be installed With that, thank you and goodbye.